Have you ever wondered just what it's like to watch a wolf dog pup grow? From a small baby puppy who can fit into your arms, right up to a giant adult with a gleaming thick coat, piercing yellow eyes, and a majesty that only a wolf dog can exude. In this special six part series, Animal Watch will follow the life of a small wolf dog pup from 10 weeks right up to 10 months old. We will watch her grow, see her blossom, learn her fears and strengths, and find out everything there is in order to raise a balanced and stable wolf dog puppy. One that will fit perfectly into the life of her human who has chosen her. Welcome to Life of Wolf Dog. Every year, all over the world, hundreds of wolf dog puppies are rescued by sanctuaries from people who have not researched the difficulty of raising and keeping a wolf dog correctly. These beautiful and captivating animals seem easy to look after, especially with TV programs glamorizing the fantasy of owning one. But the reality is a very different story. A wolf dog, especially the higher the percentage you acquire, can be more wolf than dog in character. And this comes with a huge number of unforeseen problems that dogs do not possess, such as independence, stubbornness, possessiveness, destruction, resource guarding and food aggression, nervousness, seasonal aggression, sheer size, prey drive, aggression to canines, and escapism. All of these characteristics are part of the wolf dog's genetic makeup. Some can be shaped in a way that they are far easier to live with. Others, well, you just need to have the environment to deal with the inevitable, which means a safe, nurturing and calm environment, which is safely fenced and secured, as well as a kind and confident disposition. Today in part one, we meet baby Kamala. We are going to be following her life alongside our human mum, Jessica. We are going to be learning everything on a month-to-month -month basis about her physical and character changes, how us humans can help the wolf dog pup to feel safe around us and learn to live alongside us in our big, noisy and often scary human world. These valuable lessons will mean that not only will the wolf dog puppy fit easier into our world, but you, the owner, will learn how to help her too. So hopefully there will be far less abandoned wolf dog puppies out there in the world. Kamala is only 10 weeks old. She is a beautiful black faced North American wolf dog, a colour that is most requested for use in movies. Her eyes were blue at birth, but will change gradually to a piercing yellow, and her now short black coat will grow and thicken into a spectacular display in time for winter. Many wolf dog puppies like Kamala end up in rescues because of not being socialized and raised correctly. So we are going to show you how to raise a baby wolf dog pup in the right way to make sure they grow with confidence and gentleness to humans and other pets. Will you join my wolf pack? The hunt is on. Now guys, I'd like to give a big thanks to Wolf Game, the sponsor of this episode, and let you know a little bit more about Kamala, the little wolf who is playing a huge part in Wolf Game Online. Wolf Game The Wild Kingdom is the first wolf simulation computer game on the lives of wolves that can be downloaded from both Apple and Android app stores. It's literally just launched on the 25th of August, which is amazing news. Now, Wolf Game is no ordinary online computer game. This company really has 
a big heart. And this is why they're sponsoring this episode, so there can be better information out there in the world to help more wolf dog and wolves. They will be sponsoring the rescue of two wolf puppies too, which I think is absolutely amazing, which is why I really want you to help support their game. The game is beautiful as all the wolf characters are all designed based on real categories of wolves and the game simulates natural environment with realistic image quality, so you genuinely feel like you are living amongst wolves. And one of the most exciting things about this game is that Kamala has influenced one of the little baby wolves in the game and you get to log in and play as this little wolf, which I think is so lovely. You can watch the little wolf grow and develop in the game as well as in real life. Little wolf will face real life challenges and you can help her complete tasks such as building a den, find food and help pack members until she finally grows into the leader of the pack. The authenticity and diversity of the terrain makes your experience the life and battle strategies of wolves and wild animals more realistically. And as big-hearted wolf lovers and followers of Animal Watch, I'm sure you're so eager to log in and play the game. I'm going to leave you a link in the description below where you can sign on straight away. So will you support Wolf Game and Animal Watch in helping wolves all over the world? We really hope you do. Firstly, let's show you how Kamala was born. Many people who dream of having a wolf opt for high content wolf dogs, but in order to bond them with humans, they need to be raised by the human. To do this, they are bottle raised from the moment they open their eyes. So the first person they see and form an attachment to is the human. In Kamala's case, she locked her eyes on her human at 10 days of age, and since then has been raised to see humans as kind and nurturing. Some wolf dogs are allowed to be raised by their wolf dog mums. This is good for discipline in wolf dog language and good natural milk source. But a wolf dog of this high percentage can almost immediately revert to its wildest state. And the fear phases could be so extreme that interaction in the outside world may prove to be extremely difficult. So Kamala was given highly nutritious milk and bottle raised by humans. And as you can see, she is super confident and will approach strangers and trust them. As she grows, this confidence needs to be kept in check with solid guidance and leadership by her human mum. As bottle-raised wolf dogs can become super confident and sometimes a little cheeky. But Jessica, her human mum, has a plan for her as she grows to make sure she becomes a balanced and very safe adult wolf dog. So today we are taking Kamala to some restaurants with her adopted brother to teach both puppies how to have confidence in public places. Kamala is led on a collar just like a normal dog and her human walks with confidence and authority in order to make Kamala feel safe. Once at the restaurant she hears many loud sounds and noises. She should not be protected from these sounds. It's all great socialization. All the time her human mum is confident and relaxed in her presence. People want to meet Kamala as she is so beautiful and they are allowed to making sure that the puppy only has good positive experiences at this time. Any unkind experiences at this stage could seriously affect her growth and fear in the future. So everything is carefully monitored, so all she feels is positivity. Kamala is particularly fidgety at the restaurant. This is evident as she wriggles and pulls. But all the while her human is calm and acts like nothing is a problem. Soon Kamala settles and takes a nap. Like a human baby, a wolf dog pup only sleeps in bursts and soon wakes up when she smells food being served. She jumps up and tries to get some food. Her human gives her some food from her plate. This might surprise you that she did, but you must remember that in a wolf pack, the youngsters are allowed to eat as much as they want from the parents' food and many adult wolves will automatically regurgitate their food for the puppies. In order to get the wolf dog puppy to trust us humans, we must treat her exactly like a wolf adult does, which is to care and feed her. 
If we tell her off at this stage, she will not trust us as time goes by, which is a serious setback in wolf-dog human relationships. Finally, it's time to go, and Kamala and her brother are placed in the car. Car sickness can be a big thing with wolf-dog puppies, just like normal dog puppies. But it is absolutely critical at this age to make sure they get used to car travel. As in emergencies, they must be able to willingly climb in and out of cars and travel with ease. The next day, we meet up with Kamala again. She is hiding in the long grass in the garden. She is a little shyer than her brother, and so lots of love and cuddles will make her soon love attention from her humans. She plays in the bushes and flowers with Durango, and it's a joy to behold. In order to care correctly for wolf dog puppies, you must have a fence secure garden that they can spend plenty of time in. Wolf dogs prefer to be outdoors and you must allow them this joy. They are quite destructive at this stage, so an outdoor enclosure with plenty of enrichment and canine company will keep them happy and stress free. Adult Django comes in to see the puppies and he is so gentle with them. The resident German Shepherd also plays with the puppies. All great socialization with other wolves and canines. It is feed time and the puppies eat similar food to the adults, which is raw meat. In the wild, they will eat directly from the carcass and when really small, will eat softer regurgitated food directly from the adults' mouths. This is why Kamala's human Jessica must give her plenty of her food so that she trusts her. The puppies also will be allowed indoors at certain times under full supervision, which will test no. the patience of most humans, as they will steal and possess many household objects and not wish to return them. If you need the item back, a trade must be made with the puppy where you offer them a much better alternative such as a piece of sausage in return for your shoe, for example. This keeps the trust solid, as any aggression or telling off at this stage will alienate the puppy, and she will choose the canine company over you. We've got them out at a restaurant right now. What sort of character traits are we going to expect them to sort of present at this age? She can be calm with people. She's okay to be touched. Yes. So that's the important thing. Yes. She's just a bit shy. She's just the, a little bit yeah. shy. Of the noises. As she grows, we'll see a change, hopefully. Yes, sure. And when she gets to 12 weeks old, perhaps there might be some other problems or she may get more confident. Uh, as she is so smart, so intelligent, of course, I think she will find something more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, for sure, but uh, the most important thing uh, is that uh, she has to figure out and solve the problem always with me. Yes. So she has to understand that, uh, oh, okay, there is something that I don't like, uh, but okay, there is Jessica with me, so I can trust on her. And so that's uh, what I hope to, yes. to figure out with well, her. I, I hope great things, and we hope to see some improvement with you, Bobby. Next time on Life of Wolf Dog, our puppy will be one month older and getting much larger. She will be starting to enter into several fear phases as she grows, so her positive experience, confidence building and socialization must be maintained. Join us next time and see just how far Kamala has come. We will also be showing the rescue of an older wolf dog puppy in the USA and how the socialization of this puppy is being tackled on the other side of the globe. Until then, bye for now.